Hi, this is Tex Andrews again for the Light Zone Project. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be talking about the convert routine in Light Zone. In the previous tutorial, we talked about saving in Light Zone. We're back again here with our film strip, and here are our two files that are linked together. We're going to open this one up again. The editor will open. We'll wait for that to render and come up. And then I'll show you how you go about creating a standalone file that you can use in another program. And obviously, if you're already working in another program like Lightroom or Aperture, you are already moving a TIFF file or a JPEG file into LightZone for further editing. And it's going to be saved back to the original program that way also for your turnaround. So now we have the image back up again and note that those editing instructions that I did, minimal though they were, here they are back again. Same settings, same everything. No more tools have been added, nothing's been subtracted. So now what we want to do is create another file. And so here we go up to the File menu on the main menu at the top of both the browser and editor modules. And we go here to Convert Image. So now we come up with a completely different dialog box. Let me talk about this down here first. So here we have uh, a name of an image. That's how it's going to be rendered. I'm, when I render these things, I typically do save them as TIFFs, but you don't have to. It, I have a particular purpose in mind for these things, very large prints. So therefore, I'm trying to get as big a file as possible. We have a color profile that I've selected for this thing. Uh, I have a resize here. I can change this if we want. I have a rendering intent. You can change that if you want. There's a compression thing here. I don't particularly, I don't use it, but you certainly can. You have a choice between 8 bits and channel or 16 bits and channel. Uh, Light Zone can do uh, and does 16-bit uh, linear editing all through the program. Here in your output, you can choose whether you do 16 or 8. And pixels per inch, I've dropped that down a little bit from the 300 in printing. Uh, what I'm printing at 200, I'm going to be just fine. So now I can convert. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Don't hit that button yet. Look up here and double check yourself. When you do saving, standard saving, you hit the done button in the editor, automatically by default, LightZone is going to save that back right back to where you were so that your original and your new sidecar file are linked. It's not going to send that sidecar file someplace else. But when you're converting, oh yes, it might because maybe you don't want it in that file. So now you must manually select where that file is going to go. It's not default necessarily going to go right back where you were. In this case, because I've already been working in that program and I have been saving some things, it already did take me right back to where I was. But I need to check that. And if you don't see the file where you were working, you need to go through and select it from your files uh, that you are using for your photographs. So that is an important thing to understand. If you just hit this convert button and you don't check this and it gets sent out someplace else to some other file you had open previously, you'll go back to the browser and you'll go, hey, where's my image? Well, it's where you sent it. You just didn't realize you were sending it there. So always double check this. Now let's do the convert. This will take a, a minute to uh, convert this. Not really a minute, but it will take a little few seconds. Um, so Understand that there is saving in LightZone and then there's converting in LightZone, and they're two different things. Just to do edits in LightZone and to print out of the program, you never need to convert. You can print straight from a raw image out of LightZone. You don't have to convert it to another file. However, if you're using another program like the very fine um, Quimage or something else, or you're using Lightroom's you know, quite excellent print module, uh, then you are going to have to, you know, convert to 
a TIFF or a JPEG file because those, when you convert, you're creating now a new standalone file. When this goes back to the browser, you will see that instead of just the original and the LightZone file, LightZone sidecar file that are linked together, we're now going to see three files and this TIFF will have been added to them. I'm going to hit done just because it's safe. That saves up, and here we go. I'm going to reduce the thumbnail size a little bit. Okay, so there are our two images, the original RAW, the sidecar file with the grace around, and now automatically selected is the brand new TIFF file. Note that these have similar names but this one was saved as a .jpeg, this one was dot saved as a .tiff. Oftentimes what will happen if you're using a JPEG, you'll get a hyphen one to, to designate that the new standalone file is separate from your LightZone JPEG, that is the sidecar file. So that's an important distinction to understand between regular saving in LightZone to create your sidecar file and the creation of a brand new standalone image and never once was your original ever altered. That's the essence of non-destructive image uh, editing in LightZone. Thank you very much and join us again for another video as we make them.